is up my geeks and freaks big girl geek here with a brand new video and today i'm here to review the joker movie spoiler free so y'all know what time it is it's time for the geek out Three, two, one. <laughs> all right like i said i'm going to try to keep this spoiler free if i bleep out a spoiler or you know diary of the mouth a spoiler i'll either, either edit it out or just put that there are spoilers in the video but as far as i know right now it is spoiler free so if it does not say spoilers in the title you are great if it says spoilers uh free you're great so you know i will let you know ahead of time if i accidentally <laughs> blurt out a spoiler because i start talking so fast so if it says spoiler free um you're great if it says spoilers then you're not so great <laughs> or you're great if you saw it so either way but yes i am here to review this movie um, I was not, I was, I did a trailer reaction, you can scroll down, it's somewhere in, on my feed, and I, um, I was a little intrigued and, and, and I don't even say excited, but I was like, okay, this is very interesting, because if you've been following me from the beginning, you know, I'm just kind of getting into my Batman, uh, love for the character and the characters that go along with, with him, and so... Mm, I really like I said so I wasn't that excited but I was like I'm intrigued it's a comic book movie I'm a comic book fan I have a comic book channel I'm gonna go see it and then I kind of lost a lot of interest recently because because it's been in the news because the uh, director I don't know if he wrote it also but the director was saying some stuff about people getting upset about it maybe being too violent and he was blaming liberals in the far left I'm a very liberal person I'm not on the what most considered to be the far left but I am you know liberal and I like to keep my politics you know not I don't need that when I go to a movie even though some of these most some of these combo movies do speak a lot about politics but they kind of do line up with my politics so maybe that's why I'm not you know that upset about it but I mean I didn't I didn't need him to say all that you know he and and liberals are the one that loves the movies I, I would think conservatives would be the one upset about the violence but he was just saying some crazy comments that I was just really wasn't appreciating and I was like, oh man, that kind of like diminished my my um, desire to see it. But of course, I still want to see it opening weekend, not an opening night. It's today, Sunday, uh, which happens to be, I guess, DC Day because, you know, Batwoman premieres tonight. So, uh, side note, I will maybe be going live on Twitter when that comes out, when that comes on later tonight. And then, of course, Supergirl. So, all the CW shows are returning. It's DC Week here on the channel. You're going to be seeing a plethora of... Uh, DC uh, content if you are a DC fan and of course if you're a Batman fan Batwoman's on tonight even though that's got some mixed reviews but yeah so I mean his his comments I weren't really feeling but I you know went and saw the movie I uh, went solo I didn't think it was appropriate for a little girl geek my daughter you know as you know this is not geek at all is not into any of that so yeah I did go catch a matinee and I was thoroughly uh, surprised because not even surprised because this was getting good reviews and my sister saw it and some co-workers and they were saying go see it but I was very um, pleased with the, <laughs> the movie I absolutely loved it I gave it a, a standing oh you know the standing old gif of Brad Pitt in the front at the Oscars with Lupita and uh, Chioto Ejiofor I used that gif from uh, when 12 Years a Slave came out standing O, standing ovation I absolutely love this movie I feel like just give Joaquin Phoenix all of the Oscars um he's gonna get if he doesn't get an Oscar nomination I'll be shocked because in my opinion don't slander me in the comments don't drag me in the comments I feel that he surpassed Heath Ledger's uh version of the character and it would make Oscar uh, I think history the first time um two separate uh two different actors playing the same character have received an Oscar for a comic book film um, it has happened in other media before because it happened with the Godfather films um, but this would be the first time that's happened with a comic book uh, movie if he were to receive an Oscar nomination and then go on to win the Academy Award give it to him I mean if I could take off my wig uh, if, uh, if I would if my hair was braided underneath this I would take off my wig to you Mr. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix that was an like outstanding performance he played the Joker uh, uh excellent um i was talking with uh my sister and she was, was saying how she pointed out which was correct that this is the first time we've seen his origin story like this like when we catch him on screen at least in a live action uh version of him he's already well established as a joker we don't see we've never seen how he has become the joker and i think joaquin has taken um he's done his research for the character i'm sure he's read books 
and, and watch some animated stuff. But <clears throat> I think he's, he's taken from Mark Hamill's performance, who we all know as the, the animated voice of the Joker for the Batman series and the Justice Justice League series. Um, I think he's taken um, from, of course, um, Heath Ledger. He's taken from, of course, Jack Nicholson. I even think he's taken from the, the man that played him in the Adam West series. Um, I didn't really get so much of Jared Leto, uh, Jared Leto's Joker in this, but I mean, I think he he took all that and then put his own twist on it. He put his foot in it. He were you could tell everyone involved in the film worked very hard, even the director. Um, even though he pissed me off his comments, he did an amazing job. The writing it was great. Um, as I said in the trailer reactions and other, when I've talked about this other times, maybe during like a geek chat or something like that, um, they filmed some of it in. Uh, New York, uh, in Newark, not New York, in Newark, New Jersey, which is not that far from me. And I did get a chance to see some of it. And you could tell, looking in the movie, I felt like I could tell, like, oh, though, that's Newark. And it, it hit right at home with the whole, with the, the look of the city, um, the look of Newark, I would say. And then it, it did, it, it gave me a New York Gotham, because Gotham is a New York feel. And uh, the sets was great. The, the, the costume was great, but it's, it's Joaquin's movie he's the lead he's he, uh robin nero makes an appearance they have a scene together that is quite crazy i mean he was a psychopath i know he changed his body and all that and you can see that in the trailer in the clips where he's like super skinny and just like emaciated and he looks gross that alone deserves an oscar i mean this guy this joker this his name's arthur is crazy arthur is crazy crazy psychopath nutso okay and the events that lead him up to getting to that point are so sad and pathetic um and if you're not th if you're on the fence about this and you're thinking well i don't know because you know it's not a comic book movie which it's not there are no lasers there are no aliens there's no flying people in costumes this is very like down-to-earth real gritty type stuff um even if you, you're thinking you're on the fence because you don't know if it's not having that stuff which you're used to seeing in like Avengers or Justice League. I'm telling you, go. You'll be pleasantly surprised. They do name drop very important uh, characters to the Batman story. And you get to see some things that, um, a different take on some, uh, of a situation that you've probably seen a million times. So I, I definitely recommend that. I mean, I, I definitely recommend going to see it based on that. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It was... I can't, I don't know what else to say without spoiling it because I really want to, maybe I'll do a spoiler video so I can get it off my chest. Or if you've seen it um, and you ha do happen to comment and you want to discuss spoilers in the comments, just, you know, put a little spoiler alert before you get into the comments and maybe we could discuss it there or maybe I'll put it in the comments and, you know, tag it spoiler and then write what I need to say. Um, so just be careful if, you, if you're going to scroll for comments or if you're going to go leave a comment if there are no comments yet. Um, but yes, it, it was just so... That shit was good. That's all I can say. It, it was good. It was spectacular. It was great. And you didn't need the aliens and the, the bright costumes and the flying and the, the the powers coming out of the hands and the lasers. It was absolutely amazing. I don't know where they go from here. I don't know if this was just a solo film. I didn't research it that much. I don't know if they plan on him meeting Robert Pattinson's Batman. I don't know if he's going to be going to the just uh, fighting the Justice League. Um, I don't know if he's going to be, if you're going to see the Riddler or, or you're going to see Harley Quinn or anything like that. I don't know any of that. And I don't know if it would work with that. You know, I don't know how they would do it because this was just so separate and so removed from what we're used to seeing with a comic book movie. And it's not, it's so different from Dark Knight. I don't know if it's so different, but yeah, it's different from Dark Knight. It's a, it's a different take on the character from Heath Ledger. And I can see why people go crazy when they do this role. Now, I don't know. I mean, I haven't watched any interviews with Joaquin Phoenix. So I don't know if he said if he drew on his real life, you know, tragedies. Because, well, I don't know if you know, you know, if you don't know, his brother was um, actor, uh, child actor turned adult actor River Phoenix, who died, you know, tragically years ago in the 90s of a drug overdose like on the street outside of a club or something in LA and you know that trauma in its own can make you go nuts I don't know if he drew on that when doing this uh character when when doing this movie but it, it's just it's great 
it's great it's great i i mean i highly recommend to go see this i would give it a 10 out of 10 you have to see this not even even if you're not a comic book fan who, like my my husband's not a comic book fan mr i could get all and i told him i was like you like these type of movies and just take away the the com the big name comic book character names that drop and just watch it and not even going in thinking of Batman or anything like that, you're gonna love it. I mean, you're gonna love it. It's 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 a great movie. It's not for kids. It's not your kid's Joker. So um, don't take your kids to see it if they're not of age. But I absolutely loved it. It was crazy. You didn't know what he was gonna do next. You didn't know what crazy route he was gonna take. It was great. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, can't wait to discuss with you. Until next video, I am out of here. Big girl geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.